We here! We here! We here! New York next! I mean, that's all. Lord have right. mercy. Please, Lord have Please mercy. Let's get it right. Lord have mercy. <laughs> this is so special. Give it to me. Give it to me. We here. We here. We got the first round for the first time in a decade. It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Pick your finals, baby. Pick your finals. This is what it's all about, baby. Orange and blue skies. Orange and blue skies. Welcome back to NBA Countdown, presented by DoorDash. Welcome back to NBA Countdown. And Stephen A. Smith is home because we are in Madison Square Garden with the one and only Julius Randle coming off averaging a career best 25.1 points per game. Julius, thank you so much for stopping by our set here. And, and let's just start with this. This has been a summer, gentlemen, of Eastern Conference, fellow Eastern Conference contenders really going around and adding stars to their teams. And you all largely are returning the same roster. You made it to the second round last year. What can this group do, Julius, to get over the hump? Uh, we just got to keep building. You know, it's about um, I now now I think more than anything, it's about you know holding each other accountable more than ever. Hmm. Um, you know, the trust, the communication, just keep building off of that. You know, you look at a team, everybody praises Denver. You look at a team uh, like Denver, they've had their core guys for many years, at least as long as I've been in the league, and they just kept adding pieces. So, you know, we just got to keep building. You, are you as tired of the Milwaukee Boston dominating the conversation <laughs> as I am? You had to hear this for the last few weeks. How do you feel about hearing that? Uh, I, I don't pay attention to it, honestly. You know, I don't read into it I don't listen to it you know um, I'm in the media capital of the world so you know I get used to hearing the projections and the rumors and all the other different type of stuff so at the end of the day you got to you got to tip the ball up and you got to play what's it like playing here what do players not know about playing in this city for this team man it's nothing like winning in New York mm. um, you know there's a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but there's nothing like winning here. You know, you win here, the support um, that you get. I live in the city, and, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do is just walk around the city, and the love and support around the city is so genuine, so it's nothing like winning here, um, and that's all I want to do. That's all we want to do as a team at the end of the day. When you don't win, what do they do? <laughs> Stephen A. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Next we can, question. We can ask Stephen A. <laughs> we can ask him. You know, he's, uh, he's, ready. He's, the, he's the hype man for us. He's so ready. <laughs> listen, listen, man. Listen. Orange and blue skies, that's what it's supposed to be about, Julia, okay? <laughs> no, Let me I'll ask understand. you this question. As you reflect back on last season and how it ended in Miami, as good as the season was, Winning a playoff series for the first time in 10 years, 10 game improvement. When you look at how it ended, reflect on that for a second and tell us what you guys are thinking about coming into this season to make sure this season is going to be better than last season mm. was. Um, at the end of the day, um, and I can speak for myself personally, uh, you know, I went into the summer, I had to go into the summer, I had to have surgery, and, uh, you know, it sucks. Um, you know, you're sitting there and you're watching teams still playing, and uh, you're like, man, you know, you want that opportunity uh, to, to be in that spot. Um, and, you know, once you get past the emotions and the pity party and all that different type of stuff, you look at it and you're like, all right, how can I get better? And at the end of the day, that's all my thing is, you know, I'm going into my 10th year in the league, and it's about improvement. Every year I try to improve. That's what I pride myself on. So what do you think you need to improve on? Because I've got some ideas. He doesn't know. Don't ask him. Coach, Watch your mouth. Coach, Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Him. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. No, no. You, no, no. you, you got have coaches coach behind you. Oh, excuse me. Here's my deal. I think you're powerful. Right. Quick. My attitude is, it's like, punish some of these boys that's going up against mm. you because you shoot the threes and you hit about 218 threes last year. Right. But I'm just saying, do you ever think about that? The way, uh, well, you know, Stephen A., that's, honestly, that's how I came into the league. Right. My whole thing was, you know, quote-unquote, bullying and China shop, you know, punishing people inside, power. Um, you know, because I really couldn't shoot the ball. Uh, okay. And, you know, I had to develop that um, as I, you know, came along in my career. Uh, but for me, now that you say that, that's a big thing for me. Um, I wanted to get back to that. Yeah. Um, just watching the tape, watching the film, I want to get back to uh, being a more efficient player. And I feel like, for me, it's dominating inside out. So, yeah, I definitely want to get back See to that. that? Why did you do that? You didn't have to do that. He doesn't know. He's a Knicks fan. He's just a fan.